Welcome to Friday Football Fever, the playoff version. It's another week where big time players need to make big time plays. And here we are in the second round of the playoffs. Friday Football Fever, the playoff version starts right now. The Charlotte Toppers have been in like a machine like lately, but uh, they will need to bring their A game tonight once again as they face an undefeated Cape Coral team. Not only are they just undefeated, but Charlotte blank Cape Coral in the spring opener 44 nil. So revenge on the mind of them in this 4A regional semifinals game. But right away, it will be Mike Bellamy making his presence known. Short touchdown, 740 to go in the first period, and the Tarpons defense would come alive. All over the place. The ball gets stripped out. The Tarpons, right place, right time. They recover it. So that gives the machine offense and fans going nuts down there in Cape Coral. It's almost like a home game away from home for Charlotte Hart running there by Nick Stevenson. That's a first down run then into the hands of Bellamy. Another sharp plunge. 14 nil in the second quarter. Cape Coral would finally get on the board before the half. They would miss the point after. That would make it 14-6 with two and a half to go before the break, but it would be too much Bellamy and the Tarpons as the Tarpons win it 24-16 to advance to the region finals. The Adador Academy Thunder are still riding a high, a Brett Timmons team that's in the playoffs for the first time, but acting like they've been there before. Tonight they needed to keep that same focus as they matched up with an evangelical Christian team, a team wanting payback after a loss to the Thunder earlier in the season. So here we go right away, and it's evangelical with a fumble, and it's ODA with the football. A.J. Strong coming up with it there, and Brian Ragone rolling out and finding his brother. Why not Chris Ragone? Three-yard touchdown, so it's 7-0. Sentinels with the ball in the air. Joshua Burks, 18-yard pass to Thomas German. That's a first down. Sentinels move the ball, but then interesting play here. Burge throws a pass. It's a lateral, so that's a live football. Grant McCarthy picks it up and just scampers. That's a 45-yard return touchdown. ODA up front, 14 nil. How about that? Then when it was all said and done, ODA, believe it or not, they win again, 32-18. Here's coach after the game. Uh, to be in the state final four, um, it was great for us. Um, uh, Evangelical played a great, they played a great, they played a great, uh, great game. It was a tough game, tough game for us. But hopefully we'll find out who we're going to be, uh, find out who we're playing next week against either Glazedale or um, Jupiter Christian. All right, next up, the Manatee Hurricanes hosting the St. Petersburg Green Devils in the 5A region semifinals. Breon Carnes knew he was going to see man-to-man -man matchups in the secondary and. Uh, St. Pete doing a good job. Stevie Murph with the INT. So St. Pete going right to their bread and butter. The ground game, Malik Wilson, the team's leading rusher and acting like it just blowing all over people. That's a first down run. And then here's Rashad Lewis, the quick scat bat there. Another first down for the Green Devils. But then St. Pete, they go for a field goal. It gets blocked in. Check out Joshua Harvey in the red. Gets cracked, trying to pick it up. But Manatee will hold on to the football. It'll be 0-0 after the first quarter. Second quarter, Carnes to Quentin Bundridge. That's a first down pitch and catch there. And then they go right into the Wildcat offense. It's Mike Blakely. Six-yard touchdown. Blakely, three TDs on the night. 205 yards rushing. 7-0 Manatee at the half. And that Canes defense will come alive. And the Canes win 21-7. They advance to the 5A region finals. The Bray River Pirates are still alive and hosting the Lake Wales team in the Class 3A region semifinals. And this game was all about defense here. Not much scoring at all. Back and forth. It was a matter of two teams just really grinding it out on the ground. And two teams that really did an unbelievable job at scouting one another. 
But I got to tell you, this was another thriller in the end. Braden River won. Both of these teams won in overtime last week, and this game came down to overtime. But this time, Lake Wales gets the victory, 21-14. Tough loss to swallow, coach, after the game. You know, I don't know what you take from it. You know, you, your kids play hard. Uh, you, you fight to the end. You know, I think we were down 14. No, down seven. Down seven. You know, you don't battle back, make some plays. You know, you just you just work hard to give yourself a chance to win it. And you know, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. Tough one right there. Now that's how the highlights went down in the second week of the playoffs, with three of our four area teams still alive in the postseason. Let's take another quick look at all the playoff scores from tonight. When we come back from the commercial break, Herald Tribune sports writer Doug Fernandes will join me in studio to break down some of the playoff games from tonight. We'll be right back. You're watching Friday Football Fever on 